Hey guys, what's up? My name is Speedbreaker and welcome to Studio 1.0. Today I have a rather special video prepared for you guys. I'm actually going to show you how I transform this room, which is kind of a gym slash office slash huge mess, into my epic first ever YouTube slash streaming studio. But first, I'd like to give a huge thank you to the 9,000 awesome people that have subscribed to my channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for all of your support and all of your feedback on my recent videos. And I cannot wait to produce some awesome videos for you guys in this studio. But without any further ado, let's jump right into this video. Alright guys, it is finally time. I really cannot wait. I'm so excited to finally build a proper studio into this room. Uh, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the bench press because we are now going to a proper gym. So we don't need this as a gym room anymore. And I'm just going to bring this out as well as a bunch of random stuff that is actually scattered in my room. Let's start. Alright guys, I've now successfully disassembled the bench press and I've cleaned this room and now I'm going to take off the monitor arm off of the old desk. I'm going to put the old desk over there and I'm also going to put on some acoustic foam onto the wall um, and see how this is going to look. Let's check it out. By the way, this is what happens if you pair a Rode microphone boom arm with a cheap um, IKEA tabletop. Um, not really ideal. Alright guys, so I've bought these very nice acoustic uh, foam elements and I thought I'll just get some double-sided tape that I'll just uh, stick on the back of this, uh, like so, and then I'll just put it onto the wall. But um, as you can see, uh, it, it, it doesn't really, it doesn't really um, <coughs> stick on the foam, um, so therefore I was having a bit of struggle to actually put up these uh, elements there. Um, so now I have to put on some glue onto the tape on the side where actually the, the foam is obviously because I don't want to put it onto the wall. And then hopefully it will um, stick to the wall. Right now those elements are currently glued to the tape and hopefully it will hold. Let's see. All right, the acoustic phone is now sticking to the wall and let's just hope that will stay like that. I've now put up my computer and I've installed the Philips Huey um, light strip, as you can see down there, and I'm currently also updating the Philips Huey bridge. And uh, I'm really looking forward to see how this will actually look uh, when it's lighting up the wall in some colors. I've just got it today, so I'm really looking forward to how uh, to see how this will look. But now it's time to build the table. It's a 1 meters 80 times 80 centimeters table, so it's like huge. And it's a sit-standing desk, so I can choose to sit on it, um, but also stand, which is super convenient. And since I always have back pain, that's really something that I, I kind of have to have. But without any further ado, let's put together this table.
All right, guys, welcome to day two of our adventure. And as of yesterday, we have finished uh, building the tabletop. It actually was quite difficult at certain times to put together everything because, well, the uh, manual wasn't really that good and uh, it was actually quite difficult to fit certain parts together. But anyways, uh, we finished with the tabletop. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the two desktops on the desktop arm. So I have kind of a double desktop arm that I can attach to the table. Um, I also attach the two monitor uh, speakers to two um, monitor stands that I can also hook on the table. So then when I go up and down with the table, everything just comes up and down as well. And then this entire setup is pretty much finished. Let's start. All right, guys, so I pretty much set everything up right now. I have my PC up and running, um, but I realized a slight but kind of annoying issue is that all of the USB cables on my computer are not long enough to actually reach the computer over there. So I told myself, well, why not just use this TP-Link um, 7 port USB 3 hub? That would just be great because then I can have one cable for the USB for my PC underneath my desk and then set everything up to it. Well, I realized why I haven't used this too much is that the cable that you get for it is kind of pathetic. 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 How do you say this word? English is so hard. Pathetic. Anyways, I guess I'm gonna have to get a longer USB 3 cable. I am actually quite happy with the way that I could connect all of my power devices to a plug strip or plug bar, I guess. Um, that I have uh, kind of attached to the back of the um, desk. And this way I actually have a really neat setup for all of the power cables, I really like it. And I also wanna have such a neat setup for all of my USB powered devices. But the final piece to finalize my setup is this video light by Aperture that I bought myself. And with this light, I really hope that I can improve my video quality quite substantially because for now I actually didn't have a actual video light in any of my videos. I just used kind of a, a reading light to somewhat illuminate my face and I guess that's really not ideal. So with this device, I really hope that I can get much nicer quality out of my videos. Let's check it out. And that concludes the story on how I built my first ever YouTube studio. I hope you enjoyed this kind of different content. If you did, leave a like. If you're envious, leave a dislike. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next video.